Welcome to God's Word Alive TV. I am your host, Nikita, and this is Read, your personal Bible reading. We're at the end of Psalm 23, as we've been dealing with that for the past couple of days, so today we're at the end, which is verse 5 and verse 6. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The message translation then says, You serve me a six-course dinner right in front of my enemies. You revive my drooping head, my cup brims with blessing. Your beauty and love chase after me every day of my life. I'm back in the house of God for the rest of my life. Can you imagine that? The love of God chased after us every day of our life. God's love is persistent. God's love is always running after us. No matter how we wander away from him, his love always brings us back into his presence again. Now I find this new translation. It's called the, the Living Bible. And it says, you provide delicious food for me in the presence of my enemies. You have welcomed me as your guest. Blessings overflow. Your goodness and unfailing kindness shall be with me all the day of my life. And afterwards, I will live with you forever in your home. You know, I really thank God for his word. Can you imagine what this is saying that, you know, God provides a six course meal for us in the presence of our enemies? These different translations are so beautiful. You know, especially the message translation, I realize it helps us in our modern day time that we're living in. So the message translation actually helps us because it, it tends to speak the way in which we talk now in this time. And so it is saying here that even in the midst of what the enemy is doing, Amidst the attack of the enemy and amidst all these, as the scripture said, no weapon form against us. So amidst all the fiery darts and all that the enemy is doing, we can still dine in style with God. We can still find peace and rest and joy in God. Remember we started out from verse 1 of um, the same chapter, Psalm 23. Where God is our provider, so we lack nothing, nothing good we lack because God is our provider. He is Jehovah Jireh. And then it tells us that he is our protector, right? He is our shield. So he shields us in times of danger. He shields us when the enemy attacks. And then it tells us that he is our shepherd. He guides us. Oh, glory to God. It's, it's wonderful. When we read the Bible, we study it and we realize the God we serve. It's just so amazing. It amazed me each day when I study the word of God and realize that this is the God who created heaven and earth. But yet, he takes the time out just to be with me. So he guides us and he steers us in the right path. He directs us the path that we should take. But you know what? All these are available unto us. It is already made available. But we can only appropriate it or we can only access it when we live a life of submission and a life of dedication unto Him. We can't just live our lives anyhow and expect these blessings to just fall down in our lap. The enemy will see to it and make sure that it never happens. But when we live our lives committed to God, that's what God requires of us. A life of commitment, a life of dedication, a life of submission to Him. Enjoy your day. Be blessed. I know that you have the shepherd with you. He surrounds you and He lives in you. He is with you. Make it your daily lifestyle to talk with Him to communicate with him and to commit yourself into his hands. God love you and he cares for you. 
It's a pleasure of our hearts to come to you this way each day, sharing the word of life with you. Please share this life-changing word with somebody. Also, leave your comment and don't forget to leave your prayer request. We'd love to pray with you and for you. Like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell to continually receive these life-changing messages. God bless you in Jesus' name.